What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate, reverse rants, no hate. I want to get right to the point, and I have a mixed bag for y'all today. Okay, one is... Let's talk about Chris Eubanks Jr. He basically says he can beat Canelo Alvarez. And you know he calls out Liam Smith, right? So here's, here's the thing. Every post that you read about Chris Eubanks Jr., it's like nobody has faith in him that he can win these big fights. And it's understandable to a degree, to a great degree, okay? We do understand that, hey, you have to believe in yourself. If you don't, then you shouldn't be in you, you shouldn't be in the sport, okay? At this stage in Triple G's career, he's 37, 38 now. Um, we know that he can still be the C class fighter. I don't know exactly how good Triple H still tri Triple H, bad. Triple G still is. Okay. Triple G. His last fight, he destroyed a C-class fighter and or a D-class fighter for that matter, to be honest with you. But he did what he had to do. And they put you in these mismatch fights so it can boost you right back to put you back up there for bigger fights. Now, for Chris Eubanks Jr., if he let's say if he does fight Triple G and he wins, the majority of the people are going to feel like he only won because Triple G slipped. He's not He's not the same fighter anymore. That he would never beat a prime Triple G. Well, we'll never know that. And true, I agree. I don't believe he beats a prime Triple G. Okay? Not even close to beating him. But he's not in his prime anymore. So maybe because of that, maybe Chris Eubanks can beat him now. It should be seen. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think that right now, that Triple G has slipped enough that Eubanks may be able to win. And even if he does, but let me know in the comments. But even if he did, it would be a tainted win because of that reason. Because people just don't believe in Chris Eubanks. They feel like he's not as good as he thinks he is. He's going to need a big win. If he did beat him, he'd have to like really beat him. Like beat him badly and like show us something that, hey, damn, I didn't know Chris had that in him. You know, he's been working with Roy Jones. So if anything, there may be an interest there to let's see what he's learned. Let's see any, you know, the improvements. Let's let's see what he has. At the end of the day, though, like I said, he's gonna need a big win in a big way. He can't just barely win. He's gonna have to beat him. And even if he did, in fairness, you know, Triple G still decides to get in the ring. Hey. But against Smith, the same thing. Okay, um, well, not really the same thing. He calls out Smith. I'm in the same mind frame as other people in terms of similar and in, in the point of I have to see Chris Eubanks Jr. beat someone. I have to see it. But I'm like that with most fight, with fighters in general. I, I don't care what you say. You can say I'm going to do this to this guy that is yet to be seen. Let's Let's see how it goes. Now... Would you rather see him against Smith or would you rather see him against Triple G? Let me know in the comments. That's another thing. Okay, Triple G is looking for someone. Now, if Triple G is looking at Eubanks going, I can beat this guy. If he feels like I can beat this guy. You know, you know you can feel inside when someone poses a, a real threat or, you know, you, you know. Um, regardless to how cocky people act in front of the camera, you know, like, yeah, okay, this is going to be a good fight. This guy, he, he brings it. I don't know how he views Chris Eubanks, but at the same time, would you guys rather see him versus Smith or him versus Triple G? You know, this is a huge step up fight for uh, Eubanks if, the, if it does happen. I haven't seen anything announced about any opponent, period, like this is the fight that's happening, but that's the two names that he brought up in a you know, recent interview. Okay, another thing is Canelo Alvarez versus Avini Yodirim, right? I don't like this fight, and I'm going to tell you why. I want you guys to pay attention to how people camouflage things. I like Canelo Alvarez as a fighter. We know he has heart. We know he can fight, and you can't deny his skills, okay? 
but some months ago, okay, let's just say it like this, last year, remember this tournament they were supposed to have when Benavidez got stripped of his title for missing weight? He went to the fight, won the fight, but they stripped him, okay? Remember how once they stripped him and then Canelo said they had this tournament, like, like this names, list of names that they asked the public, who do you want to see fight for this title? Remember how Canelo threw his name in that hat and then Canelo was refused and many, many channels made videos about this. I spoke about it briefly and many people were saying they didn't want this fight because here's, and here's the reason, and I agree, this is an easy way for Canelo to just capitalize, fight an easy opponent and then all of a sudden he's won another title. If it happens, I'm not hating, but at the same time, it's like, Canelo, come on, man. This same guy that we're talking about, Chris Eubanks beat him, okay? Chris Eubanks beat this guy. So, therefore, if Chris Eubanks beat him, what do you think Canelo's going to do to him? And, again, my thing is, you can celebrate somebody's career however you want to do it. You know, I don't do the starstruck thing. I just give credit where it's due. But at the end of the day, it's like the fight didn't happen. And they said, nah, man, like, no, nobody wanted to see Canelo slip in, get an easy opponent. And then all of a sudden, because this is on your resume. And then years from now, nobody's thinking about, yeah, but come on, man. This is a guy that shouldn't even be in the ring with Canelo. So now that, that, that fight never happened. Now, all of a sudden, we know that he just beat Callum Smith, Canelo, just beat Callum Smith. But now, how does this guy, Avini Yadiram, get back in the ring? All of a sudden, the fight's back on. And I thought about this, too. Wait, wait a minute. Because, see, my thing was when Benavides had the title at 168. We've never heard Canelo talk about fighting against Benavides. We've never heard, like, this is the fights that, that, uh, that we want to see. But at the same time, it's like, now, all of a sudden, now, they won't let... Benavidez fight for the title because he was stripped. So they won't let him in this tournament. I mean, why? You could say, hey, man, well, you never lost your title. Here's a way to get it back. So why can't he put his hit, you know, well, if somebody says, yeah, what's the purpose of stripping him? If you're going to, you know, you're not giving it back to him. You're giving him the opportunity to fight back for it. You see what I'm saying? But if that's the case, and he's already in that division, so why give it to Canelo then? Canelo's last fight before that was at 175. Now, we know he went to 168. We know he fought Callum Smith, and he said he wanted to unify. But see, here's the funny thing. Why is the opponent for that title this same guy? You see what I'm saying? So if, just think about it. Let's say, for example, if Eubank said, I want Canelo, people would say, ah, oh, come on, man. He destroyed, he, Canelo would destroy him. Okay, well. Chris Eubanks beat this guy and beat him candidly. So how, how do we want to see Canelo versus this guy? How is this a fight that anyone wants to see? I don't like the fight. I really don't. And to be honest with you, you know, we know Caleb Plant has a fight coming up. And, you know, I don't know what's next for Benavidez. But in all honesty... I mean, for him to, you know, unify the division, he's going to have to fight Caleb. We get that. But this, as an opponent for Canelo, is to me, like, it, 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 it's just a fight I'm not interested in. So, do you guys still feel the same way about Canelo versus this type of opposition? Or do you just feel like, ah, whatever, let's see what happens next? You know, it's nothing to lose sleep over. None of it is. We just do boxing talk. But you understand... This is a fight that, to me, I just don't get it. It was scratched just to put, be put on again. So now, when people say Mauricio Suleiman shows favoritism to Canelo, do you see why? Do, do you see why? Look, look at the situation. Because there's no reason. This guy hasn't earned anything. How does he... See, this is what I don't like about this whole franchise champion nonsense because like i told you guys last year it gives you immunity to fight who you want he, mauricio Suleiman said when you're the franchise champion you get to choose what weight class you want whatever fighter you want so basically 
one could say, okay, Canelo, they didn't want you in this uh, poll of fighters to fight for this vacated title. So, you know what? Let's let it die down. We're not going to do nothing. The belt's going to stay vacated. And then at the right time, and everybody forgets about this and it dies down, we'll throw you back in there. If you guys made noise about it before, I'm just saying, I don't see how people could just change their mind and say, hey, man, okay, well, I'm, you know, I don't take any of it personal, but I, I'll be honest with you, I think this is some disgraceful, shameful type stuff right here, man. Because let's just be honest with you. As great as Canelo is, to give him this type of opposition, man, okay, this is no different from Deontay Wilder fighting against Charles Martin. This is no, you don't understand what I'm saying? Like, you, 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 you're, you're an elite fighter, man. And if you can pick and choose who you want to fight, this guy of all people, if you guys think that Canelo would beat Caleb Plant or Benavides, what do you think Canelo would do to this guy? You understand? I mean, why? So I don't, I don't, I'm, I don't like this fight. I'm not interested in this fight at all. I'm, I'm really just not. I, to be honest with you, this is a fight I, I might not even watch at all. Not free, not on YouTube, nothing. Because like it's just not necessary for this kind of fight. We know Canelo can fight. We already know this. There's no question of what Canelo can do. But why this kind of opposition right here, man? Why? You guys get paid millions of dollars. So for people to sit back, and for me, I feel like if it's a bum fight, don't support it. Now, I'm not telling you, like, oh, everybody he fight has to be, uh, you know, he can't fight everybody himself. But the point is, you're the franchise champion. The fact that, because we, we know that when you put fights together, let me clarify this. When you put fights together, we want to see the best fight the best. We know, single-handedly, he's not going to go and fight Charlo you know, then, then, then go and fight Saunders. Then go and fight, um, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, Andre. We know there's always some weaker people. But what I'm saying is this, no, not this kind of, no, man. You got to stay within the top 10. And for this guy, I don't know and don't care what he's ranked right now at this point. This guy, we know his his capabilities. He shouldn't be in there with Canelo. You know what I'm saying? He, he shouldn't. But at the same time, what makes it worse is the fact that we know Canelo wants to unify. And fighting this kind of opposition is like, no, man. Football, don't you don't pick and choose who you want to fight. You're the franchise team. You get to pick what team you want to play. You know, basketball don't do that. No. No. Here we are in boxing, and you get to pick and choose. What other combat sport does that, where you get to pick because you have a certain title? I can pick and choose what weight class I want to go up in who I want to do a fight against and all that. This fight was canceled or this whole thing never happened. It was scratched and now it's back on again now. I just think it's a trash fight. I think it's a fight Canelo shouldn't even be interested in. But hey, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this fight in the comment section. That's all I'm going to say in this video. Never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth brings hate out of people and I will catch y'all on the next video.